Hello students, in this video we shall discuss example number 4 of chapter 4, linear equations in two variables. Find two solutions for each of the following equations. The first equation is 4x plus 3y is equal to 12. This is a linear equation so we can find infinitely many solutions for this that is any number of solutions. We just need to find out two solutions. So let's put x equals to 0. Okay. In place of x we will put 0. So 4 into 0 plus 3y is equal to 12. 4 into 0 is 0. So 0 plus 3y equals to 12. 3y is equal to 12. y is equal to take 3 to this side. So 12 divided by 3. 3 ones are 3. 3 fours are 12 y is 4. So, one of the solution is 0, 4 and we always write the x value first and then the y value. So, 0, 4 and for the second one we can take y equals to 0. So, here you put y equals to 0. Then it will be 4 into x plus 3 into 0 equals to 12. So, 4x plus 0 equals to 12, 4x is equal to 12, x is equal to 12 divided by 4, 4 comes this side and that is equal to 3. Now, this is x and this is y. So, when you write it, the answer will be 3 comma 0. It's not 0 comma 3. It's 3, the x value first and then the y value. So, these are the two required solutions for the first one. Now moving on to the next one, 2x plus 5y is equal to 0. So same way we have to do, put x equals to 0. So 2 into 0 plus 5y is equal to 0. 0 plus 5y equals to 0. 5y is equal to 0 or y we can say 0 divided by 5. And 0 divided by any number is 0. So, 0. So, one of the solution is 0, 0. And if I put y equals to 0 now. Put y equals to 0. So, 2x plus 5 into 0 is equal to 0. 2x plus 0 equals to 0. 2x equals to 0. x is equal to now see here, if you put y is equal to 0 like you did in the previous one, if you do that, then again you are getting a 0 because here when we are putting 0, we are getting 0. So this will not work in this case. We have to take some other value for y. So let's say we take y is equal to say 1. Okay, uh, y is equal to 1. So then 2x plus 5 into 1 is equal to 0. 2x plus 5 is equal to 0. 2x, take 5 to the other side, minus 5. x is equal to minus 5 by 2. So, here the solution is minus 5 by 2 and 1. You can take any value of x or you can take any value of y and find out the other value and that would be your solution. Okay. So, this type of questions has no fixed solution. You can have any solution. Okay, now moving on to the third one, which is 3y plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, if you see here, the x term is missing here. So, if you want, you can write it as like 0x, 0 into x plus 3y and then plus 4 is equal to 0 and then you can solve it. But then when you solve it, what will you get? 0 plus 3y plus 4 equals to 0 or 3y plus 4 equals to 0. The same thing as the question. And then take y to the other side. That will Sorry, take 4 to the other side. That will be minus 4. Now divide both sides by 3. So minus 4 by 3. If I take any value for x, because the equation is in this form, right? If I take any value for x, I will still get the same value because this term will become 0. Let's say if I take x is equal to 1. So 0 into 1 is 0 right so this term will become 0 so here we can write the solution is 0 
comma minus 4 by 3 this could be one solution or we can say 1 comma minus 4 by 3 this could be the solution or 2 comma minus 4 by 3 because any value of x you take this term is 0. So the solution that you will get is minus 4 by 3. I hope this is clear to all. Thank you.